In a mixi jar, I'm adding in fresh pudina leaves. If you want to know the precise ingredients, you can check in the description box below. To that I am adding in some water enough to make the fine paste like this. Now in a medium sized cooker on medium flame I am adding in some oil. To that I am adding in butter. some fennel seeds few star anise few cloves some crushed cardamoms few javitris Just sorting all of them for 2 minutes. Also adding in few bay leaves. Then I am adding in the onions, just drizzling in some oil so that uh, it is enough to get the onions cooked well. So once the onions are cooked well, I am also adding in some cinnamon powder since I did not have any cinnamon, here just I am adding in the cinnamon powder itself. Sort it well. Now I am adding in the pudina paste. So I am covering this and let us cook it for about 5 minutes. Adding in some ginger garlic paste.
combine well and we'll allow this to cook for about 2 minutes basically the excess water needs to go off and it should be just left out with the onions others and pudina so we can see that the excess water has been evaporated now i'm adding in some peas for the taste making Also adding in the jeera sambar rice. Since I didn't use green chilies here, I'm adding in some red chilli powder itself. Don't worry, the color of the rice won't change. Combine all well. Finally, I'm adding in the water for the rice to cook. Again, the precise ingredients measurements are in the description box below add salt as per your taste Finally, topping it a teaspoon of ghee so that it has a wonderful aroma. Lastly, give it a final mix. That was for taste testing and it was perfect. This is optional but you can just top it up with some fresh pudina leaves at the end. Now let's allow this to pressure cook for about 3 whistles on medium flame. Trust me this is better than pudina fried rice because the rice cooks in with all other ingredients juices so it will be much tasty and a wonderful aroma. So after 3 whistles this is how your recipe would look like. So your pudina palau in pressure cooker is ready. So let's do the serving here. You can enjoy with any gravy or semi gravy or even just starters. Top it up with a slice of lemon and you are good to go. So hope you enjoyed this video.
if you did show this video some love share this video also subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos until then bye